time ago when the earth was green. There was more kinds of animals than you ever seen. They'd roam around free when the earth was being born. And the loveliest of them all was the unicorn. And there was green alligators and long and gators. Some humpty back camels and some chimpanzees. Some cats and rats and elephants, for sure as you're born. The loveliest of all was the unicorn. And there was green alligators and long Humpty back out and uh, some chimpanzees, some cats and rats and elephants, for sure as you're born. The loveliest of all was the such an exciting show, I can hardly wait to get stuck into it. Good. Tonight we want to take you on board of the Irish Rovers Big Bright Green Pleasure Machine. We're going to take you on a ride through all kinds of Irish music in all its moods and forms. You know, every country these fellas travel with me, we have been made welcome. I suppose our music has done it. And I suppose every place we go, there's always somebody that knows at least one Irish song. Isn't that right, Jim? Oh, they really clap like mad for us in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, up, it's my career. Listen, <laughs> whenever, whenever you think about Irish music, what do you, what do you think of exactly? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, to the Irish Rovers, music, our, Irish music to us means a lot of good times because. We developed our music through a million coffee houses all across this world. We're very, very glad to say that, that some of those good times that we've had with music has rubbed off on a lot of you. Y you want to know why? Because it's very easy to join in with Irish music and the Rovers. Very, very simple. If you sit back and watch this, you can join in too. Watch. I'm going to sing the Rattlin Bog. Now, don't let me down in here tonight. We taught you the chorus. Belt it out. Here we go. Oh, no, the Rattlin Bog. The limb and the limb and the tree, the tree and the bog and the bog down the valley. Oh, oh no, the rattle and bog, the bog down the valley. Oh, no, the rattle and bog, the bog down the valley. Oh, and on the swing there was a leaper, there, leaper, let the leaper, 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 leaper,
melodies and traditional Irish music is the London Derry Air. This haunting tune was used in the evergreen Danny Boy. I suppose a lot of singers all over the world have recorded and sung this song, but none better than our special guest tonight. And he's not even an Irishman either. His parents came from Wales and he lives down there in Texas somewhere, but you'll love it. Our special guest, John Gary. Thank you. This is the story of a father and his son. And the boy is at the doorway of their home with a rifle in his hand and a knapsack on his back. And he's saying goodbye to his dad. His father's naturally sad, but uh, even more so in this case, because he's lost two boys at war already. And this is his only remaining son. So he says to him, Oh, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. From glen to glen and down the mountainside The summer's gone and all the flowers are dying It's you, it's you must go and I must bide But come ye back when summer's in the meadow Or when the valley's hushed And white with snow It's I'll be here In the sunshine Or in shine Danny boy, oh Danny boy, I love you so. But come ye back, and all the flowers are dying. If I am dead, as dead I will be, you'll come and find. The place where I am lying And kneel and sail And are there for me And I shall hear Though soft you tread above me And all my grace Sleep in peace until you come to me.
called diddling where they go that was diddling and I suppose diddling originated back at the time in Ireland when the penal days were on and people couldn't play Irish music so whenever they wanted to give a dance they would invite a couple of diddlers in and they would diddle 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 away all night and that was the kind of music it was <laughs> diddle, diddle, <dumpling. laughs> and they took the, the Irish music form took all kinds of shapes during the 18th century and into the 19th century in the streets of Dublin and Belfast Old men used to wander about selling ballads. They were on, like this here, penny ballad sheets. They would go around singing the song and saying, this is the latest song of the day. There was no top ten. So these old fellas sold the ballads. They were wonderful kind of ballads too. Amazing lyrics like, mm, give us a key. Give us a key. Oh. A sailor courted a farmer's daughter. She lived contagious to the town of Straban. With love and melody he did besought her. That she marry him before she marry any other types of classifications of a man. Yeah. I don't suppose too many people would buy ballads like that nowadays, but there is one kind that's just as popular today as it was 150 years ago around the streets of Belfast. Songs like Mary of Dunloe and the Sleeve Gallon Braves, my cousin Joe sings as well as any man I know. There's a beautiful one he sings called Here's a Health Unto You, Bonnie Kelswater. So, Here's a house unto you, Bonnie Pell's water. For it's there you'll find the pleasures of life. And it's there you'll find the fishing and the fowling. And a bonnie wee girl for your wife. On the hills and the glens and low valleys. Rose as soft as of linen, so fine. And the flowers are all dripping with honey. There lives Martha, a true love of mine. For it's this one and that one may court her. But no other can take her from me. For I love her as I love my cow's water Like the primrose is loved by the bee Here's a house unto your bunny cow's water For it's there you'll find the pleasures of life And it's there you'll find the fishing and the fowling the bonny wee girl for your wife, and the bonny wee girl. 
in Ireland, it saw a time when anything to do with Irishness was forbidden by law. You couldn't play Irish music, you weren't allowed to do Irish dancing, you couldn't speak the national language of Ireland. Anything Irish was squelched for singing songs could be enough to put you in jail or to be strung up. Songs like, give us a key please George. I met with Napper Tandy and he took me by the hand and he says how's poor old Ireland and how does she stand? She's the most distressful country boy that ever I have seen. For they're hanging men and women now for the wearing of the green. For the wearing of the green and for singing songs like this next one, I suppose. A song about a rebellion that happened in the north of Ireland in 1798 when, believe it or not, Presbyterians and Catholics in the south got together. Presbyterians in the north led by a young fella called Roddy McCorley. The fleet full host of men who speed with faces won from farmstead and from Thracia's cut along the banks of Ban. They come with vengeance in their eyes. Too late, too late are they for young Roddy McCord. Up the narrow street he steps, he smiling proud and young. About the hemp of round his neck, the golden ringlets clung. There is never a tear in his blue eyes, but glad and bright are they. For a young Roddy McCarty goes to die on the bridge on Tomb today. When he last did on the street, his shining pike in hand, behind him marched in grim body a stalwart Oh, Brandon. 
God, Ireland's traditional music and song is not forbidden anymore. In fact, it's really encouraged. Yeah. It's really great to see little kids in Cork and Dublin and Belfast all over the country learning the old tunes that their fathers were once persecuted for. learning those traditional airs, would someday hope to become as famous as our next special guests. A group who's become internationally famous all over the world for playing just that, the real traditional Irish music. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the pride of Ireland's music, the Chieftains. Thank you. 
With the potato famine on in Ireland in the 1800s, the Irish were on the move to a better life in other countries, Australia, New Zealand, Canada and America. And of course, when they went, they took their music and their songs with them. Australia got her bush rangers and songs like the wild colonial boy and the wild rover. When they came to America, it was no Irish need apply. So they didn't. <laughs> they just lay around for a long time and suddenly opened up pubs and churches and they became policemen and bishops and presidents and things like that. <laughs> they did. And a new kind of Irish music was born there in Tin Pan Alley in New York. It captured everybody's imagination. It was the wearing of the green all over again. There was green beer and shillelaghs and shamrocks everywhere. And songs like I'll Take You Home Again, Kathleen, written by an Italian for his German wife. Everybody was singing it on St. Patrick's Day. And those vaudeville stages were re-echoing the sound of Ireland all over again. And the old miseries of Ireland were soon forgotten. You watch. Miss Sandy Beach. A big reminds me of the time Patrick was driving through the streets of Dublin in his truck and he drove under this bridge and the truck got stuck and Mike came along to him and in true County Kerry eloquence says to him he says Pat you're stuck no he says Mike I'm not I'm delivering a bridge and I forgot the address <laughs> the voices of Caruso and McCormick are filling the concert stages throughout the world today Tonight, we are honored with somebody who will fill our stage. We have the illustrious, the renowned Mr. James Ferguson. Oh, maybe someday I'll go back to Ireland. Be it when I hear my wife has passed away <laughs> for I well remember how she used to nag me as she had a mouth as big as Galway Bay <laughs> I've seen her drink 15 pints of Arthur Guinness then walk outside the door without a sway if the sea was beer instead of salty water, ah, 
she would live and die in Galway Bay. I've seen her drinking pints down in Murphy. And when the barman said, you'll have to go, when she gets outside, she never speaks in Gaelic. But in a language that the clergy do not know. <laughs> On her back she had tattooed the map of Ireland And when she takes her bath on Christmas Day When she rubs the sunlight soap around my clutter <laughs> You could watch the suds roll down my God And now going from the slimy to the ridiculous, we are going to bring on a gentleman who is the son of a Mayo mother and a County Armagh father, with a voice like a golden thrush, the bard of McNulty's bar, Mr. Dennis Day. For 50 years ago, they had a left to and shore. He landed here shillelagh in hand and didn't left anymore. He got a job and then the wife and raised the family. And when he died, he left his own shillelagh. To take it to bed with him, he'd never part with it. And if any man would muck it with it, she made that would have a pit. With it safe, hope she'll lay me by the foot like a dozen men. As fast as they got up, he got a hit, knock him down again. And many's the time he used it at me for to make me understand. So say, hope she lay me by the rock from Ireland. Going <laughs> back to Maraheim, the leader of the band. Although a few in numbers were the finest in the land We play at wakes and weddings and at every fancy ball And when we play at a funeral so we play at the march and call Oh, the drums go clang and the cymbals clang and the horns they blaze the way The carry pumps the old masood, I the pipes who play Tennessee, Tennessee, true to the flute, the music is something grand The credit to play your lind is back to Marathon Right now we are rehearsing the annual celebration of the gentry will be there. When General Grant to Ireland came, he took me by the hand. Says he, I never saw the likes of McNamara's band. The drums go bang and the cymbals clang and the horns they blaze the wing. The carry pumps the order soon, I the pipes to play. Tennessee, Tennessee, to the boot, the music is something grand. A credit to a violin. It is my pleasure to sing for you some of my favorite songs, which were written by Chauncey Alcott, George M. Cohan, and Ernest. <laughs> and what are you doing here? Got a letter from me mother. Well, we shall read it ourselves later on. I am on right now. Dear son, just a few lines no, please, to let please, you know. What on earth are you doing? What are you doing? I got a letter from me mother. Oh. From me mother. And Do I you wish to hear a letter from his mother? Why don't you read the letter from your mother? Thank you. Dear son, that's me. Just a few lines to let you know I'm still alive and well. I'm writing this letter very slowly, for I know you can read too quickly. <laughs> you won't recognize the house when you come home. We've moved. <laughs> Our new neighbors are keeping pigs. We got the wind of it yesterday. <laughs> it only rained twice last week, 
first for three days and then for four. <laughs> it was so windy that one of our hens laid the same egg three times. <laughs> I got my appendix out and the dishwasher put in. <laughs> our new washing machine isn't working. For last week, I put three shirts into it, pulled the chain, and I haven't seen them since. <laughs> Your sister is still nursing across in England. I sent her some clean underwear. She wrote and told me she has been in the same shift since Christmas. <laughs> Your other sister is still going with the same fellow she was when you left. He gave her a lovely ring with three stones. Missing. <laughs> I'm sending you that new overcoat you wanted, but I'm cutting the sleeves and the buttons off to cut down on the postage. You'll find them in the pockets. <laughs> I have to go now, son, as the plumber is coming to fix the pipes. And there's an awful smell from your loving mother. <laughs> Thank you, my soul. H-A-N-R-I-G-A-N spells Harrigan. Proud of all the Irish blood that's in me. Devil a one can say a word again me. Wild Irish rose, the sweetest flower that grows. You may search everywhere, but none can compare to my wild Irish rose. My wild Irish rose, the sweetest flower. And someday for my sake She may let me take The bloom from my wild Irish rose When Irish eyes are smiling Sure tis like a morning spring In the lake of Irish laughter you can hear the angels sing when Irish hearts are happy all the world seems bright and gay and when Irish eyes are smiling sure they Most of us here tonight would someday like to return to the old sod. But we are lucky here tonight because the old sod has come to us. As a matter of fact, there are five of them. Ladies and gentlemen, the five paddies. He was an Irish man of note Fell into a fortune and he bought himself a goat To see sure of goat's milk I mean to have me fill But when he got the nanny home Found it was a bill And now all the ladies of live in Killaloo Are all wearing bustles like their mommy used to do They each wear a pillow beneath their petticoat And leave the rest to Providence And Paddy McGinty's goat <laughs> This Mary Jane, who was the man who were cuddling in the lane, with long hairy whiskers hanging from his chin, was only Paddy McGinty's goat. She answered with a grin. She went away from the village in disgrace, came back with powder and paint upon her face, rings on her fingers, and she wore a sable coat. Bet your life.
direction and we're going out from Buddy Biggin. Let's go. Appetite. And one day for breakfast he ate some dynamite A big box of matches he swallowed all serene Down he sat and swallowed up a pint of kerosene Sat by the fireside he didn't give a hang Swallowed a spark and exploded with a bang If you go to heaven You can bet your bottom note That the angel with the whiskers on his Paddy McGinty's go hey! <laughs> in these songs we sing. There's laughter and love. There's the tang of the sea and there's blue from heaven above. Now of reason, there's none. And why should there be as long as there's fire in the blood, a light in the eye, and you'll all get stuck into the singing of these next few choruses. Join in! The Wild Rover first. And it's no day. I am a 
song to me in tones so sweet and low just a simple little ditty in her good old Irish way but I'd give the world if she could sing that song to me this day to in County Clare with harps and fiddles and illin pipes, or whether you like it with shillelaghs and shamrocks in Tin Pan Alley, New York, it sure doesn't matter as long as you enjoy yourself. That's what Irish music is made for. We're very happy you watched our show. We hope you get a chance to see the next one. May you be half an hour in heaven before the devil knows you're dead. Let's sing it all out together, okay? You know this one. The gypsy rover came over the hill down through the valley so shady He whistled and he sang Till the green woods rang And he won the heart of the lady All together now Adi 